only about half of the people that suffer from psoriasis sit on other parts of the body. Most, I mean, the remaining half will only sit on their scalp, right? So you can look at this as a sign of psoriasis, and it's actually an ongoing treatment, meaning um, it relapses from time to time, right? So it comes and goes, comes and goes, comes and goes, comes and goes. It's an autoimmune disorder, and it can be triggered. That's the relapsing situation can be triggered by. Hi, welcome to another episode of Ask the Trichologist. My name is Atilola and I am the certified trichologist at African Naturalistas Hair Clinic. African Naturalistas is your one-stop center for all your hair and scalp needs. And what we do is that we help you achieve your goals of healthy hair naturally using hair products, regimens, memberships, hair care courses, um, hair clinical services, trichology sessions, and so much more. As long as it has to do with hair and scalp, we got you covered. So what we do at Ask the Trichologist, this program specifically, is that we answer all your hair and scalp questions at a high level. So if you want to ask us questions, you can send them to att at africannaturalistas.com. If you want to be anonymous, if you don't want to be anonymous, you can just ask in the comment section below and they will answer you. Or just check the description box below to see everything that you need to do to get your questions across to us and then we'll answer so today our question is from tattoo right or uh, should i say fatto or tattoo i don't know from botswana anyway so this is tattoo from botswana i hope i did not murder your name so tattoo is saying hi atilola i have a question i just realized that what my daughter has been suffering from is scalp psoriasis she is eight years old and i don't know what to do to help her with her psoriasis can you suggest how to manage this situation as i have been scoring the internet to see what i can do but everything seems confusing to me all right then um facto or tattoo right i'm so sorry about what your daughter is facing um, yeah, most people that discover psoriasis actually discover it when the child is very young. So scalp psoriasis is actually an autoimmune disorder, right? It is not something that you cause. It's not because you are dirty or you did not care for your child very well. It's actually an autoimmune disorder that many people face. Well, not many people, that few people face and then they discover it from when they are children and there's really nothing much you can do than to manage um this situation right so it actually looks like silvery scales right covered um from different parts like of the head right so it occurs in patches and it's from on different parts of the scalp right and then you can find some parts of them on the knees like sorry on the elbows and then the knees and then sometimes you find like that the fingernails they have like ridges they are not smooth fingernails that they have like ridges or they are pitted right and then some cases there can be like serious bleeding that happens when you try to lift those those flakes so you have to be very careful those are severe um severe cases you find that that when you try to lift those skills that then bleeding occurs it can be quite jarring and like to have scalp psoriasis because it looks very serious and then what do i do what what do i do how do i ex how exactly like do i solve this problem um for myself so only about half of the people that suffer from psoriasis sit on other parts of the body most i mean the remaining half will only sit on their scalp right so you can look at this as a sign of psoriasis and it's actually an ongoing treatment meaning um it relapses from time to time right so it comes and goes comes and goes comes and goes comes and goes it's an autoimmune disorder and it can be triggered that's the relapsing situation can be triggered by stress um, allergic reactions to medications um, alcohol infections and when you withdraw like the steroid treatments that the person is on and how exactly because i know that's what you're trying to um solve here how do you um uh, treat psoriasis so for mild case of psoriasis so i don't know whether your daughter's own is actually mild 
or serious but you have to use colter shampoo right so you can go to the pharmacy and ask for a colter shampoo right and then uh, for mouth cases and when they are when there's each you can you know look for steroid creams right this is also when the scales are mild you can look for um steroid cream but if it's like a very serious case of psoriasis then you have to um make your own quota lotion or your own quota solution right or you can buy a quota solution so you can ask for a quota solution or a quota lotion and for it and you can get the tranoid ointment or antraline ointment these are the medical um medically accepted ways to solve serious case of psoriasis so you're talking about the tranol or antraline this now i don't know depending on your country uh okay you are from botswana so i don't know what the situation in botswana whether these are prescript and um, prescription ointments or treatments or they are just over-the-counter treatments so i don't know the situation in your country so if they are prescription then of course you can always go to your dermatologist to try to get the prescription and if they are over-the-counter treatments then you can um you can just buy them over the counter but i think these things are um they are on many e-commerce internationally available e-commerce sites that, that you can always buy right so if the scales are very thick the, the steroid cream might not be able to like permeate through the scale in this situation you have to use your quota solution or your quota lotion or your salicylic acid solution which you can learn to prepare yourself if you have access to salicylic acid right um as i said you can get these things on popular e-commerce sites and you can just mix the salicylic acid 10 to 25 percent of salicylic acid in a carrier oil or a mineral oil and then put it that's 10 to 25 percent carrier or mineral oil and then the remaining 75 um, 75 percent 10 to 25 percent is the salicylic acid then the 75 the 85 to the 90 to the 85 to 90 percent or the 75 to 90 percent with the mineral oil or the carrier oil put the solution pour it on your on the scalp um overnight right cover your head with a plastic bag and then try to you know penetrate the scales right the next and um, the next morning because that will actually dissolve the scales and to prepare the quota lotion you can make six percent of quota if you have the um the this thing if you have access to it uh two percent salicylic acid and then carrier oil right and then try to lift the skills in next day or better still just visit your dermatologist or your trichologist right because there's also dangers to self-medicating but i know some people might not have access to trichologists to dermatologists and you have to do this yourself then this is the way to do it okay i know that has been quite scientific i try to stay away from very scientific things right <laughs> here or I, I i i go scientific but i try to make it uh, make sense let me put it that way so remember for um for the milder situations you can use your steroid creams you can use your colta shampoos and for the most more serious one you can use the colta solution or the salicylic acid solution to penetrate um permeate the um the scale or you can just get the tranol ointment or antraline ointment right all these are solutions to your problem so i hope i've been able to help you battles because i know how serious and how how disturbing the situation might be on your daughter i don't know whether it comes with each for her or it doesn't come with each but there's always a solution to psoriasis because a lot of people have actually overcome psoriasis or they're managing it well and I, there's there's no reason why you cannot manage it well also all right then um for people that are suffering from scalp disorders you can actually get access to our course overcome scalp disorders one of the teaching teachings in overcome scalp disorder is, is actually a more in-depth teaching on scalp psoriasis we have other teachings you know all scalp disorders are treated in that course you can also have access to other courses of us overcome hair loss um how to grow your edges back um recover your edges back um ultimate hair growth course grow your hair like a pro um hello science made i'll be here science made easy and many other courses that you can always get in the flagship course if you check our description box below but in the meantime what i want you to do is just click the like button like this video share subscribe click on the notification bell and comment in the comment section send a question to us att at africanaturalistas.com or 
ask in the comment section so like share subscribe click on the notification bell comment in the comment section and then we'll see you in the next video till i come your way again it's me atilola your trichologist bye